Hi, I'm Francis and I'm here with Tom today and we're going to talk to you about Fluval Fosclear. Phosphates and silicates, well, they're two of the main driving factors that cause nuisance algae growth inside the aquarium. And Fluval Fosclear, it's a really, really highly effective um, mechanism for removing these unwanted impurities inside your aquarium. And Tom, he's going to take it over. He's the one who developed it, so he can tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you, Francis. Uh, that's correct. This is a very effective product in removing phosphates and silicates. In fact, it can absorb up to 20 ppm and 50 US gallons of water. Some of the ways that you can control phosphate in an aquarium are being by being aware of what the phosphate level is in incoming water. If tap water contains phosphate, make sure to use RO water in your marine tank. That's the most effective strategy in not introducing it to your aquarium. A couple of other things that you can do too are controlling fish populations. Overstock tanks tend to have higher accumulations of phosphate. And another important tip is to actually defrost frozen foods before you feed them to your fish. And, and rinse it out thoroughly so you wash out a lot of that, you know, the oil that can have um, phosphates and stuff like that. In yeah, it can contribute films to the top of an aquarium as well. And, you know, what I like, Tom, is that we actually guarantee how much phosphate this product will remove. You said it'll remove 20 ppm of phosphate out of 50 gallons of water. Our, our competitors really don't give a claim as to how much phosphate they can remove. And another thing that I like is, well, we, we give it in, in a bag and you can measure out a, a set portion of the product. So if you have a smaller aquarium, you use less product. Exactly. So, uh, for example, nano reefs or small desktop reefs where you're looking at volumes of 10 gallons, uh, you can measure out 25% of this uh, product with the little measuring cup that Francis pointed out. Simply put it in the bag and, and put it in your filter system. And, you know, another benefit of using the uh, Fluval Fosclear is that you don't need to invest in an expensive phosphate reactor. You know, there, there's products out there that, that they say that you have to place it inside a phosphate reactor. You just dump this inside your sump inside the bag where there's an area of high flow and it becomes an effective phosphate and silicate remover. Awesome product, really highly recommend it for all your marine aquarium. Now we're gonna cover the test segment of Foss, Fluval Fosclear. There's a couple of components we're gonna to use to demonstrate the effective removal capacity of Fluval Fosclear. Number one, a test kit. We've got a phosphate test kit. Secondly, a 10 gallon aquarium that we filled with reverse osmosis water. So we know there's no phosphate in this, no other elements. A trusty AquaClear filter, clip on filter, model 30, that we're going to put our Fosclear into. And also, of course, Fosclear, of which we have weighed out 30 grams from a 150 gram container. This is good for 50 US gallons. The 30 gram bag is going to be good to treat a 10 US gallon dose. And last but not least, a solution, a phosphate solution that is going to give us 1 ppm of phosphate in this aquarium to be removed by Fluval Fosclear. So I have the phosphate solution and now we're going to take our actual test to see the 1 ppm of phosphate we're going to be putting in the tank. Just going to drop this handy 30, 30 ml bottle right into the aquarium. We're going to let that mix for a few minutes. And now we're going to take our test vial and fill it with some of that 10 gallon tanks water where we should be measuring 1 ppm of phosphate. So we'll put that back over here in our little base. And now we're going to start adding the reagents. This is the number one reagent. Really important with any test kit with liquid reagents is to shake the reagents really well. I'll just unscrew that. And we will put the required one, two, three drops into the vial. Reagent number two, same deal. We shake that and we put three drops. <clears throat> now the last reagent in the phosphate, we're just going to give the vial a good shake before we go on to the last reagent. 
and we take this reagent. This bottle is a little bit more tricky in that we have to hold it at a 45 degree angle so we can get a nice neat dropout. So we're going to do that. It takes a second. There you go. There's the one drop. We're going to do the same thing and agitate the vial well. Now we're going to wait about two minutes to get our test result. Looking at our vial and taking our handy color chart, you can see that we've achieved a 1 ppm concentration level of phosphate. Now we're going to take our 30 grams of Fluval Fosclear and we're going to put it in our AquaClear clip-on filter and we're going to let that run for a little bit to give it a chance to clear the phosphate and then we'll go back to the test kit to confirm it's absorbed the 1 ppm of phosphate. To conclude our segment on Fosclear testing, we'll look at the result after having run Fosclear for a little while on our 10 gallon tank. You can see that clearly there's none that remains. So that's it. Proof positive that Fluval Fosclear effectively removes phosphate quickly and efficiently.